updated 2022 throttle body and M8 manifold comparison. We're gonna go over the changes. It's 2022 now. We had an older video out yeah. that myself, Jamie Lima, Moonshine Harley Davidson, Moonshine Horsepower, and Aaron Stottinger went over several years ago. Now, we have monster manifolds. <laughs> Everything's gotten bigger. The world has changed. That's what we learn every day is that the more we think we know, all we know is that everything changes all the time. So there's an array of manifolds and throttle bodies here that uh, we're gonna talk to you all about. This looks like a lot, and it is a lot. It'll be a lot to cover here today. And uh, it kind of goes to show where we were a couple years ago talking about maybe one or two of these pieces and what we had access to to make power with and how things have progressed, how they've changed, what we've learned. Starting here on the end, factory M8 manifold. Polycarbonate, cheap to produce, works fine, makes okay power. We then progressed for our stage two builds primarily to this, the 55 millimeter. It's a Harley manifold and it does a fine job. There are improvements here over this. Uh, they say on a dyno it's worth three to four. We've seen that from time to time. Uh, really great for your stage two builds. Uh, cam job. I mean, even just taking this and putting it on a stock bike and retuning it, you can do it, you might pick up some power. But in all reality, now with the updates, we skip right over this guy. Yeah. So we were running the 55 for cam jobs and everything. Then we started playing with the Harley Davidson 64 with the veins and significant gains. We were worried that we would see some drops on the dyno charts. Didn't we happen. didn't experience anything. All yeah. this guy did is increase everything. If you're on a budget build, a 55 is great because it's going to work with your stock throttle body. If you have enough money to purchase the throttle body with the manifold, and we keep these in stock, we keep a combo kit, it comes just like this in one box. Stage twos benefit from this all day long. Yeah, we're running this right now where the conventional thinking used to be that 62 millimeter was about as big as you wanted to go. We started playing around and thought, let's just put this on a stage two build and see what we get. Milwaukee 8, the more we play with it, the more we're learning. It really, really likes a lot of flow, a lot of volume, and you're finding difficulties reaching a point where you're almost too big, which fights the conventional thinking of where we used to be. But again, the more we play with it, the more we figure out 64 on even on a stage two is good. And this is making power up to 150 horsepower now um, on, uh, on a 128 inch build. Yeah. So. We run these a lot. The, the bigger builds that we have will use this throttle body if it's a stock head and manifold combination. So we do a lot of 128, 124s with our 492 cam and almost 150 foot pounds of torque, yeah. 130 to 138 horsepower in that range with this exact setup. And then we run this on the stage two. So with the MHP 485 cam on a 114 M8 with a throttle body, manifold, and a cam, we're getting 120 to 127 horsepower out of that combination. And this combo right here allows that to happen. As opposed to running a smaller manifold, we can sacrifice four horse by not getting the right air set up to the head. Now this guy right here, we're gonna run this on a factory M8 cylinder head. Once we go to a ported cylinder head, we get into these. This right here takes this manifold a step further makes it 66 millimeters. It's been CNC ported. And this right here on 128, some of them are 131 cubic inch builds. We're getting up into the mid 150s, 160 horsepower range. On this setup on 64 millimeters of throttle body with the right manifold. So same throttle body as this guy, the manifold's just ported. So if you look at the difference here, we have a ported version compared to the way that Harley builds their 64 from the factory quite a bit of difference. All right, so anytime we go to one of our Frankenstein heads with the plus 1.5 millimeter valves in them, 66 millimeter MHP manifold is what we're running with them with the 64 millimeter throttle body. And just like Aaron said, up to 160 horsepower on a 131. And it's just a really, really nice piece. So when we go to our monster heads, what we call the MHP monster head is when we go beyond the 1.5 millimeter valve, we go to a 2.5 millimeter valve. When we go to those monster heads, the bigger valve needs more air into the intake. So we have a brand new 
intake port design designed for all the monster setups. So when you go with a monster head that has the plus 2.5 millimeter valves, you get a big old monster <laughs> manifold to go with it. We make these in a 64 version that runs the Harley Davidson 64 millimeter throttle body. And then we make a version that runs the horsepower incorporated 70 millimeter throttle body. Two different versions. Big boy um, stuff. The reason being, if you're a guy on the street all the time and we're doing a 135 or below, we're gonna run a 64. It's real snappy, it feels good, it's easy, it's a little easier on the pocket. We go to the big 70 millimeter setup when we do a really big cam, 135, or we do one of our 139 or 143 cubic inch setups, we will go to this combination. And that setup right there is, for us now, regularly producing on, uh, in excess of 170 horsepower. On a 135. Yeah. So we're getting that on the 135. We will run a monster manifold and head on a 131, but we have a little bit of conflict there because if you're gonna step up to the monster head, you're so close in your budget to move from a 131 setup to a 135, which really benefits from having this. On a 131, we do see gains with this manifold, but it's for anything 5,000 RPM and, and above. Yeah, so anything, if you're like the eighth mile drag racing guy and you're trying to pick up seven or eight in the top end, you could run that, which it, we have done. Yeah, it's it pretty worked, much- It ran pretty good. It's pretty identical 5,000 and below. Yeah. But 5,000 to 7,000 RPMs, you can see three to six horsepower gain with this setup as opposed to your traditional port, the ones we run with the 66 millimeter throttle body. And the flanges on this, because it's got a brand new port design, the guys that helped us design this was Frankenstein Engine Dynamics, and they came up with a brand new flange. So the flange is a double O-ring flange that goes on. It's just a nicer quality piece that seals the intake to the head. If you've ever looked at the Harley one, it's a normal intake seal and it's an angled seal and as it presses towards the head, it flares out the seal. This guy is a little more streamlined. You don't have to worry about this being pinched a little more so on one side or the other or actually impede on your port. That's the beauty of it. If you look up inside that port when we have one mounted on the bike without the throttle body on it, the match inside here to the cylinder head is absolutely seamless. It's yeah. a really beautiful port match. If you're looking for a build or would like to get in contact with us, the easiest way to do it is to go to our website. Type in moonshineharley.com. Once again, moonshineharley.com. Go to our homepage. On the homepage, there's tabs at the top of the screen. The one in the middle says performance shop. When you highlight performance shop, a drop down will pop up. Click on the moonshine horsepower button. Basically, what we need to know is how to contact you. You need to fill out your name, your phone number, and then the bike. The more info you put on here, the more prepared we are when we call you. Your current engine, current parts on the bike, because we want to know what we can continue to use in the build you're looking for, or if you need everything. Um, what parts are going to be friendly to the build you're looking for. And then building goals, what are you looking for? What do you want us to accomplish with your bike? Put it in there. Also put the time frame, first available, you're three, four months out. Let us know how quickly you would like us to get to your build. And then hit that submit button, someone from our horsepower team will call you back. So it'll either be Aaron, Nick, myself, Jamie, or maybe MVO, Michael Van Orden. One of us four will call you back. Our schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. All the horsepower guys, Tuesday through Saturday. The shop is open seven days a week. And typically when you fill one of these out, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 48 hours to get back in contact with you. But we will. We appreciate the support. Please, if you haven't already, go to the subscribe button, click that guy. Also, you might want to click on the bell for notifications. Let's you know when we have a live event coming up on YouTube. Also lets you know when we're about to drop a brand new video. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one.